Hello, today we're going to be demonstrating the process of deploying a sandbox through a Jenkins pipeline. As you can see, I have Jenkins up and running, and I have this pipeline right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on demo, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you this pipeline. If I scroll down, we're going to see the pipeline script right here, and you're going to see that there's a variable right here that says we're defining the space name, which is where this specific sandbox is going to be deployed to. Right now, I have it onto my project pivot. And then it goes through multiple stages. I'm not going to go into all the details with how the Jenkins pipelines work, but you'll see there are a couple, uh, you know, cleanup stage, checkout stage, the build stage, the publishing of the artifact stage. And then right here, we're getting into the actual sandbox process, right? This is where the Jenkins plugin comes into play. We're deploying the Project Pivot All AWS Blueprint. The space name is a variable at the beginning that we already defined. We have giving it a name of pm-test-sandbox plus adding the environment build number. And we're providing the artifacts, we're providing the inputs as part of this blueprint. All specified in this specific pipeline. So if I scroll up, I'm gonna go actually go back to demo. I'm gonna go ahead and start building this specific pipeline. I'll go ahead and click on it. Now I can see the process. Let me go ahead and click on console output. And now it's gonna go in. It's gonna, like I said, right here is cloning this repo where my artifacts are at. It's gonna publish any new uh, artifacts. And eventually it'll get to the process of deploying the sandbox. Now, if I go back to my Torque UI, You'll see it here, I have my sandboxes, all sandboxes. This specific sandbox is gonna start showing up in automation sandboxes. So what we've done is we've separated these into three different categories, all sandboxes, if you wanna see them all. But there's an automation sandbox, and sandboxes that are deployed through this Jenkins pipeline are actually gonna be deployed into this specific section because it's part of the pipeline. There's no manual intervention that's happening from a UI basis from, from a user perspective also. It's all part of the pipeline. It's gonna show up into this automation sandbox. If I go to my settings, while we wait for that to continue to run, I have my cloud accounts here and I have my users. But you notice that I'm actually missing my integration itself. The reason why I'm missing that aspect is because I am signed in with a user who doesn't have access to see everything. If I go to my blueprints, he can see that these are published, but I'm not able to change any of these because my permissions are not aligned, allowing it to do it. So the permissions that I've been granted is the ability to deploy a sandbox that already has a published blueprint. If I go back here, see where my pipeline is at. Continue scrolling down. All right, node modules, I'm gonna go all the way down because now I believe that we're gonna start into right here, starting sandbox. So I'm gonna go back to my sandbox environments and I start seeing my PM test sandbox one, automation sandbox, and this is being kicked off through the pipeline. I can see it here, once it finishes, I can go ahead and then do the, if something goes wrong, again, I can click onto the troubleshooting section. I can see the application and the infrastructure behind it. At the end, I'll get my quick link generated, and then I can go ahead and check the quick link to see the changes. That being said, right, it's all part of the pipeline. We can always get this information and pull it back into the pipeline. That way we're not leaving the pipeline. Remember, Torque is allowing the users to deploy an environment, right? The, the infrastructure and the application to see the changes, test the changes, validate the changes, et cetera, as part of a provisioning environment itself. Now you see this PM test sandbox one, it's created. However, I actually switched my users. As you can see here, I have a production environment showing up. I am now back as one of the administrators in the accounts. And the reason why is because I wanted to go to settings. I wanted to show the integration and the ability how we would connect to Jenkins, right? Among other CI tools or pipeline tools, you can just download the Torque plugin from here. There's instructions on the community on how to integrate with Jenkins Pipeline. Mainly you need the plugin and the token.